What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Max Boost Monday. This is a different location than I've ever shot a Max Boost Monday before, and we've got some background music going. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Let me know if it's okay. Um, we got that in the background right now. Thought it'd be something different. Um, yeah, so if you just joined us, my name is Dennis Kako. I'm the artist and the creator of Max Boost. It's a comic book um, <clears throat> that uh, we used to run in Portunia Magazine. If you're there, uh, please leave me a comment so that I know. Uh, that this broadcast is actually working so um hopefully things are going right let's see so yeah leave a comment if you can uh give us a thumbs up follow us if you're brand new and um yeah i'm in a different place and uh yeah so i usually uh so if you've just joined us for the first time ever um i'm the artist creator max boost and this is our mondays max boost monday lives and i usually do it out of the studio i'm here at home today and uh, i'm gonna try to keep that table from shaking because some things did not go as planned today, so you guys uh, will talk about that. Um, and uh, so you're gonna, you're here in my home, hanging out. And every Monday we usually go over Max Boost things that are the updates with Max Boost. We read a comic, an episode of Max Boost. I give you the background of what's going on in Max Boost. We also give away prizes. Uh, we talk about cars and we talk about racing and a whole bunch of stuff. And every Monday we've been doing this for 38 weeks now. This is episode number 38. Uh, we hang out together. A bunch of us, Max Boost fans. So hopefully the music's not too loud. Let me know, guys, uh, if the music's okay in the background. I was thinking last time, that was all. Let's uh, let's have some background music and hang out. So yeah, I'll let people start to filter in here. I know some of you have already jumped in saying what's up. going to say hi to everybody. And uh, and then we'll just go on with the show. This is a little different, right? This is kind of shocking. You guys jumped in here and you're like, whoa, where is he? <laughs> this is not the typical thing that I... Uh, Typical uh, is not I'm not in the studio and I'll tell you guys why. All right. So, yeah, jump on in here. Say what's up. And I'll start by saying hi to everybody that's in. If you're here, please give us a thumbs up. So I know you're here and then leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm here at home. I'm going to tell you why I'm here at home. We got to the the Sparko seats in the in the uh, reflecting off the closet. Just uh, I added that just to make it look like at least it's some kind of a racing theme. Um, and I'll let you guys know what's going on and why I didn't make it to the studio today. So, uh, let's see who we got watching. We've got, uh, hey guys, my brother who's in the military is coming home tonight. So I'll be in and out of the stream tonight. What's up, man? All right. Sounds good. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh Reed Patrick. What's up? Thanks for joining the stream. Tim Lee, as usual. What's up? Um, <laughs> you weren't first day, Patrick. Sorry, man. <laughs> uh, Reed got that one. Uh, Mike S., what's up? Hey, hey. Um, Alex, what's up? Yeah, we're giving away the Sparkle seats today. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, that, how cool would that be? How cool would that be if we gave us away Sparkle seats uh, in one of these uh, Max Boost Lives? It'd be fun. <laughs> Yo, what's up, uh, Carl? How you doing? Yannick from Belgium, what's up? Danny, thanks for coming, man. Love you, Dennis, and I missed you all. Love you too, bro. So glad you're back. How are you doing? Hopefully your recovery has been okay since the, since the, um, since the um, what do you call it? Since the accident. Uh, Mr. Memo's at background music. I know, I stepped it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys, if that's okay. Can you guys hear me all right? If the background music's too loud, let me know. I just wanted to keep it really subtle in the background. I'm hoping that it is. Can you guys hear it? What's up, sup, Luton Lee? Welcome, welcome. Antonio Cruz, what's up, man? Is this your first time? It sounds like, uh, sounds. I think it's your first time. I don't know if I recognize your name. Welcome. And Danny, it is, you are back. Fred Reed, what's up, Mafia? Mr. CRV. Freddy, what up? You're in my house right now. Literally in my house. We are in the house. And I will tell you why we're in the house after we get through here. Underground Eye, what's up? Gregory, GDP, what's up? And uh, what's up, Max Boost, says Antonio. 38 was my football jersey number. All right, right on. So this this uh, episode of Max Boost Money, number 38, is dedicated to underground eye. <laughs> uh, this gets addictive. You're at 2.30 in the morning in Belgium. You're not working because of three weeks off, and you still can't miss it. <laughs> Thank you, man. Especially you were the star of the show in the last show, so, you know. Batos locos forever. Mr. Memo, what's up, man? I was thinking about you today, dude. There's a lot going on. Hopefully things are good with you in uh, in uh, in overlanding world. Um, 
Yo, Gregory got the garage flag. You're going to show us that? You're going to show us what's up? Uh, sh uh, upload it into the Max Boost fa uh, Facebook group. Love to see it. If you've got a picture. <laughs> Fred said he's down to win some sparkle seats. Right on. Alex says it sounds good. I was like, good. Yeah, Michael Bush, what's up? Does it mind the stream on my Roku is way behind the stream on my phone. Oh, so you're watching on your Roku right now? That's pretty cool. Danny says he's been pretty good. He's not really driving his baby. You have his friend driving his car <laughs> around and me. Okay, right on. Yeah, man. Uh, as long as you're recovering, that's that's what that's what's up. What's up, Brian? Azumi the stripes in the house. Got a package for you, by the way. It's coming at you. Uh, Dennis, is there a live stream next Monday? No, there is no live stream next Monday. We're taking a break, all right? And then Bukovic. Damn it, I almost forgot. It's Max Boost Monday today. Never forget it's Max Boost Monday. And then we got Jen. What's up? Oi! Hey, thanks, everybody that's jumped in. Thanks for hanging out on the Mondays. Um, and again, uh, if you're not watching it live, but you watch it after the fact, because I know there's way more people that watch it after than actually during the live, leave a comment so at least I can know that you're watching this. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, after hours, basically. And, oh, we got VJ in the house. <laughs> yes, your kids. No, your kids are not with me right now. That was really cool. Um, so I was at Cartoon with my brother about an hour ago. I'm going to tell you about what was going on. And then guess what happens? VJ's kid, Big Heads Designs, they show up there for some crazy reason. Blame social media. They knew we were there and they went to say hi, which was awesome. So I got some video of that. I might be, I might actually share that. I might actually share some of that. Um, and let's see. Alan says, spend with me $5 and I'll walk through that door. <laughs> My brother's here. Yo, Alan, yeah. You got to say hi, dude. <clears throat> Jump in. Um, and then Gidani wants to know the real most important question. How was the track yesterday? I will let you know. I will tell you guys what's going on. Uh, Fred is still waiting on his prize from when you won the Monday question. Don't treat you like Jamal. Jamal's special, man. How, you can't treat anyone else like myself. Volkovich says it's Tuesday over here, man. Uh, so, Fred, if you want your prize, I don't know which one it is. Have you sent it at hello at maxboost.com? So just letting you know, we spent a lot of time last week packaging all the stuff that was uh, that we need to ship out. And so we're trying to get that all out. But uh, the office is a mess. <laughs> it's got all your stuff. Hopefully we get everybody's stuff, including, uh, you know, some of the parts of the Midori that we're supposed to give away. So make sure that, you know, you've got. You, you have let us know that there's stuff that we owe you. We want to send it to you as soon as possible. We're trying to get that all out right now, right? So, um, and then the update on the Max Boost shipment. Getting down to it, Loon Lee. God. Anyways, we just found out today. So here's an update that the Max Boost books, which is the only thing we're waiting for, is the Max Boost books, are going to arrive, uh, I think it they said on the 20... Sixth, like right after Christmas, 27th or 28th. I forgot which actual date. Sorry. I don't know. It's, it's 26th, 27th, or 28th. One of those dates. So we're going to actually have them here uh, in port at that date. Now, it's going to take a while for it to get to the warehouse and checked in and all that stuff. Assuming there's no problems with customs. Okay. So um, that is uh, that is what is going on. And hopefully... That's acceptable. I'm waiting just as you. And like I said, I don't trust anybody or anything about shipping because they were supposed to arrive earlier than that. And I'm, that's why I'm not super surprised. You just kind of got to flow with it. Um, but yeah, they're coming, dude. They're like almost in the United States. So, um, and let's see. You guys are leaving some comments here. Bokovic, is my stuff on the way too? There's my brother. Hi, welcome to Chili's. <laughs> did you guys dm it did you guys give venmo him some five dollars that's my brother alan right there he's the one who has drives a max boost fk hello you can come in here you can hang out uh my brother's gonna hang out with us over here so this is a different max boost monday obviously uh and i'll tell you this oh we should tell him the story we'll tell him the story what we just did so uh we got some questions though so this is what it looks like on the other side of max boost monday <laughs> it's like kind of crazy oh, i feel famous <laughs> Alan's famous. You can follow Alan. Uh, what's your Instagram? Alan de Guzman. Okay. Uh, what? Just straight up Alan de Guzman. A, -A, -L -L -A -N -D. Yeah. So there you go. You want to see my brother? It's right here. Follow him on Alan de Guzman on Instagram. 
This is my son, uh, not my son, my brother. <laughs> yes, he has a different last name, so don't trip. Um, but Alan de Guzman, check him out. He's the one who owns the white FK8 with the big Max Boost stickers on the side that everybody thinks is me. No, nah, actually, that's not true. Everybody knows my brother now. When I went to the track last, people knew his car. You guys are all famous now. So, um, let's see. We've got, uh, let's see. Yo, yeah, we ain't doing Jollibee when we all meet up. <laughs> Oh, they did they did you dirty, Francis? <laughs> that sounds like a story. All right, so Yannick's saying, what about that CRX, Dennis? Can't wait to hit the track with it. I know, man. I want to drive all those cars. Those are awesome photos. If you haven't seen it, go check out the Max Boost private group in Facebook. Everyone's invited. Max, check out Max Boost private group, uh, official private group, and you'll be, uh, and you can see some of the pictures that Yannick just posted on the interior of the CRX. Have you seen them? Do you see it? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Alex is like, I just saw your post on that. Exactly. So, um, let's see. All right. Might as well, since my brother's here, might as well talk about it. Dennis let Marat know to take his time on my order and my Max Boost Monday artwork win. Oh, okay. Now, we're trying to get it out as soon as possible, Loon. We just need to, I, we're just trying to make sure we know everything that's going on. Hey, Tapa Bay, Luis is back. What's up? I see a GTR in the background of your picture over here. Is, is that yours? <laughs> Uh, uh, Antonio Cruz is gonna follow you on his car page, dude. I'll yeah. follow you back. He'll follow back, bro. Uh, Mike S asked the real question. <laughs> you already got him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he sent you nudes already. You're 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 so greedy, Mike. Um, yes, we got Mr. Chad Richardson in the house. What's up? Yeah, no live stream next week. Lonely, no night, no live stream next week. I'm, you know, I might jump in there on accident. You never know, cause I, if I'm doing nothing, I might jump in and just start talking. Um, no, canceling is not this week, Dwayne. It was supposed to be next week. Uh no birthday stream. Whose birthday? I forgot. Whose birthday is it? Jesus, Jesus's birthday. No, whose birthday was it? Is it yours, Jen? If so, we gotta go on a little bit. Doesn't mean I can't go on at all. <laughs> Gotta have enough nudes. Yosh! What? Yosh is back! We need you, bro! Where you been? Where you been? <laughs> so yeah, so let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what just happened. Okay. So the reason why I'm in the house and I'm not in the studio is because we run out of time. And uh so, let's see. Where do we start? So this weekend I was at the racetrack on uh, on Sunday. I was at the racetrack, right? Sunday I was at Button Willow with the Midori. You guys saw some of the posts that I had in the official Facebook uh, group. You saw that, and then on the way back from Button Willow, I was supposed to. St I was thinking about staying up in LA because I was supposed to pick up a motor, yes, an engine from in Orange County from the guys from SoCal SoCal um, uh, Part Out on Instagram. You can check them out. So they're hooking us up with a motor for the new Civic Si that we, well, the new to us Civic Si that we got from Texas, right? The white one, the white Civic sedan. So we need a motor in that car and we went to go pick it up. So my brother went to go up there with me and we went up there to SoCal Part Out, go saw Daniel and uh, saying what's up to um, John. They're guys we met back at Chuckwalla over almost over a year ago. Uh, Chad, I, you were there. Um, when uh, when we met with these guys anyways they do socal part out so they got parts for lots of hondas obviously and they actually happen to have a k20 z3 so i was excited they hooked it up hooked it up deep thank you guys uh to help us get that car going and then um what was it what happened uh what was i gonna say oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so mcribs it was up daniel <laughs> um so uh, that's what was supposed to happen. I ended up coming home last night and I ended up going back up to Orange County today with Alan to go get that motor. And so I got some uh, video, uh, uh, some video and photo of that. I don't, uh, what was I going to say? Um, I don't really have anything to show you guys because I wasn't able to prep anything. And I wasn't able to prep anything or even get to the, get to the, um, get to the office or studio so i had to do this really quick so a lot of this is going to be us hanging out and i'm going to do a max boost issue 
Um, and that may be most of it. I've got a video I could show you uh, that I got from, that I just did from Cartoon. And so, uh, oh, here's a couple of pictures I'm going to share with you guys. So this is, sorry, this is going to be pretty informal. I try to get things as prepped as I possibly can for the most part. Uh, and, um, but this one, I think you'll see what ended up happening. So <clears throat> when this morning I'm like, yeah, we're going to get a motor. And they said, the motor's good. The motor runs, the motor's great. And I'm like, you know me, I'm like hoping that there's no drama. Um, nothing's ever goes exactly as planned, right? So this morning, we've been waiting for this motor for a while. And they finally got it out of the car. And of course, when you get it out of the car, there's things you can find um, <laughs> that aren't exactly, <laughs> exactly perfect. And so they found a couple of things in the motor. I'm going to show it to you. And um, I was pretty bummed out. And we don't know what that's, that means at this moment. But I'll show you guys what happened when we're picking up the K20Z3 from SoCal Part Out with Daniel. So uh, when he took off the transmission from the motor, he noticed uh, one of the bolts broke off. Okay. Removed the rest of the bolts. And they're just, they were just, I guess, hell to take off. And so... The surface, for some reason, got a bunch of slag on it from something. Hmm, what is that? So yeah, so when he took that off, this was underneath, right? Flywheel and bolt stripped right here at the bottom. I don't know if that shows my arrow or not. Um, and that broke off and the and it looks like there might be only two of these holes that are okay. So the problem with these holes is they are connected to something called a crankshaft. And crankshafts tend to be important in engines. Um, so we're like, dang it. It's probably a problem. And so Hawaiian C says, oh boy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Um, okay, and then, uh, oh. Yeah, and so, so we're so close to having a motor, and uh, yet so far. And so what I said was, I got those pictures in the morning. We drove up to Anaheim um, area, or Fulton, sorry, Fullerton. And I was like, let's just take a shot. We'll just take a shot at it. And so we decided to go get it. And um, I think I've got some video of us taking a look at the motor. Let's see. Um, the one we got. I'm just going to... I have no idea if this video is is the right video. Again, sorry that it's not prepped. I had zero time to do any of it. Um, but we're going to play some videos and show you guys what happened when we brought it into Cartoon. All right, so... <clears throat> it's in here. Let's grab this movie. Let's see what happens. I have, I have no idea what's... I hate that. Why does it do that, man? It just pops up the thing and it shows like all those different downloads and all that stuff. Um, I might stop using this be just because of that. And so, <clears throat> so yeah, let's see what happens here. Watch this film, this little movie. Let's see if it works. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Try to sound positive at least, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm... We could try threading some uh, flywheel bolts in it. See yeah. what it does. I mean, it looks like one, two, three, four. Four of them might be jacked. That's right. But you went Friday or something. Yeah. Right. But I did it with some ball. They do what? I don't know. He's like, he had no idea what the, the motor runs fine and he said it runs strong. He okay. just didn't see that until he pulled off the tranny. I mean, that's just an issue, you know? Yeah, like, how bad is it? It's fucked up. Yeah, like the even if I repair it, 
Oh, oh man, they wipe. broke it in there? Yeah, they snapped oh, one in there, yeah. and the other one's wiped through. It's like... Wow. Um, Ricky, Ricky's not happy. That sucks. Look at Ricky, Ricky disappointment. Yeah, yeah these was, are wiped. I see one, one or two, like, good ones. And the rest are all wiped out and... Okay. So we need a crank. That's <laughs> Yeah. Well, hopefully the, the thrust bearing. Well, we're going to open it anyway. Doesn't mean the crank necessarily walk and just mm. that set. Those those don't really break all that often. Right. I've never yeah. seen one break actually. I guess unless they unless, dropped it. They dropped it, they dropped it when they removed it from the car or something. Go to chip the, Unless the motor was doing this and working its way breaking it. Which would be an unbalanced flywheel could do that, no? Yeah, yeah you're right. The flywheel jiggling, rattling everywhere. Yeah, yeah, just throwing it off. Yeah, so this thing, this thing did its job by absorbing all that vibration. Yeah, I got you. Hmm. Uh, oh no, once we rip into it. What would that do to the rods? Uh, the thrust bearings would be, uh, thrust washers would be worn. Okay. So if you can imagine, like here, here's your exploded view, right? So you got you got a, your flywheel, your clutch kit, everything else. Then you got thrust washers, which pre prevent so the crank from going nothing, this right? way, right? So if you have the heavier the clutch you have, the more chance that you have to cause uh, thrust washer failure. Like it means, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> more force. More force, yeah, more clamping load. So especially when you push in the clutch yeah. and it's fighting that big diaphragm, okay. that's just ramming the crank forward. Well, if the crank's moving forward though, doesn't in, in theory the rod and the piston is gonna be going back and forth, right? They're, they're supposed to have play on the, on the, on the supposedly, yeah. Okay, yeah. just on, a little bit. Crank journals. So hopefully there's more play in the crank journals than there is on the thrust? Right, okay. well, I mean, even so, even if we're, we're gonna have to drop the crank anyway, thrust washers are like $15 for a set or $20 yeah, yeah. for a set. Okay. So, as long as, you know, Oh, where's my other crank? No, I can't see it. All right, so <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Oh man, so we thought we were that close to just having supposedly the motor's been really good. Just put bolt it right in. We'll have that SI going, and the life of uh, nothing's going exactly smooth right now. So. What do you guys think, man? Um, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let me go through some of these comments right now. And it looks like, oh, it looks like someone. Yo says, I've been busy working on people's cars and never getting to my own while dealing with a baby. So everyone say congratulations. I'm assuming that's, uh, that's for saying, hey, congratulations on your baby, dude. That's awesome. Congrats, congrats. And, um, Ah, you're right, Mike. No, I. That's why we rushed back, Mike. We didn't have any time. We. I just made it back into the bedroom basically to do Max Boost Monday. We didn't have enough time. We we're planning to take another trip, though, right? We we're talking about that. We got to go back up and uh, and uh, say hi to everybody, hang out. So don't worry. We can come say what's up to you. Congrats, everyone. Saying congrats to Yosh. Thank you, everyone, for sure. Look at this. Look at this. Love, love. And then uh, Jamal Conless is here. It's an official, an official um, uh, Maxus Monday live. Yeah, it looks like welding. Um, I don't think it was. It looked like maybe the bolt, something broke off, and it you know it welded. I don't know. It was probably spinning, and it looks like welding. It got really hot. But Luis also says welding as well. And Yosh says you seen that before. What was it, Yosh? When you seen it? Um, <laughs> they tend to be important. Yeah. It had a ton motor when it was, <laughs> and it ran when it was pulled. Yeah, man. Um, it's fine. Send it says Chad. Uh, Freddie says I can relate. And you were in Fullerton. You were in my part. Oh, you're in Fullerton, dude. I didn't know you were in Fullerton. Sorry, dude. Next time, man. We'll get it we'll, for sure. Majamal says nice Sparko chair. <clears throat> and um, yes, it is. And we're giving it away. Just kidding. Just kidding. 
Yeah, <laughs> you caught that line. That was a good one. How bad is it? <laughs> That's it. Did the stream crash? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it seems like everyone's here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. It seems like everyone's okay. You got scammed, man. No, 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 Luis. These are guys that are friends of ours. So, um, and don't worry. It was such a hookup that, you know, we're, we'll be fine. We'll just figure it out. We just have to pay money. <laughs> but no, they really, really hooked it up. Uh, put the harmonic balance balancer in and just send it. There you go. There you go. Um, but yeah, no, we, we know these guys. These guys are good guys. Uh, they just took, when they took the transmission off of it, because there's transmission attached to it. The motor ran fine. They said hit VTEC and everything. Everything was good. We've been, you know, um, I, we've met him at the track over a year ago. You guys are good guys. Uh, I should have just, uh, well, I'm kind of glad we didn't like get it with a transmission on it. Cause we took the transmission off it and we saw this. So they said, uh, and they said, um, they, they also showed it. They showed me those photos before I went up there and they told me, dude, we took off the transmission. It looks like this. They still want it. And I'm like, and they took you, you know, and they, I mean, they're hooking this thing up, dude. Like, so I was like, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. And I hope uh, everything's good. Man, PJ's in the house for the first time. What's up? <laughs> what's up, Alan? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, he just texted me. <laughs> Get in <laughs> here. So uh, yeah, man. Uh, no need to apologize, brother. Thanks for watching our back. Throw money at it till it works is a classic tactic. Yeah, right. And that's, uh, oh, there's so many projects we got right now, dude. I don't even know. I may not survive this. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Antonio says, I'm going to follow your brother on my car. Paid page, page, and it's a neon spaceship. Triple O and everyone follow me. Oh, wait, it's neon spaceship dot zero, zero, zero. Is that right? Is that your Instagram, Antonio? Um, but yeah, so I hope we could get this SI going. It was supposed to be easy, you know, take the motor. Drop it in, <laughs> and it's supposed to be just good to go. Oh man, <laughs> nothing's going smooth, but that's how it works, right? Where's Michael Bush? Where's Michael Bush? What's his thoughts on this whole thing? Um, anyways, yeah, so, uh, so thank you guys, Daniel, J uh, John over at SoCal Part Out. Thanks for hooking up the motor. Uh, let's see how much of a headache it becomes or if there's any way to fix it. They said that you, you were thinking we could machine it. They're like highly recommending not to machine it. And um, Justin thinks the guys will tell him it's done. Like they won't, he, they won't want to machine it. Um, and we got McMurtry. What's up, dude? Welcome, welcome from Vermont. And so, um, yeah, so... <clears throat> Dennis, if the motor is no bunny, you know I can help with internal. <laughs> of course, Mike, dude. I know that. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. It's it runs, it runs, runs VTEC. The they took the valve cover off. Everything seemed okay. Uh, <laughs> just throw the D16 from the EK into SI after the swap. That's a that's an awesome motor, uh, motor swap right there. <clears throat> this is the remaining of 2020. What else is going to happen? <laughs> yeah, dude. Bro, we've still got like a few more days left. Should have picked up the motor in January. <laughs> yeah, we should have waited till the first. <laughs> it's going to be easy. The biggest lie ever told. Ah, oh, man. Apparently. All right. So uh, I got another little video. Uh, I thought that I might as well show you guys since uh, we're here. Um, I took a little video. So BJ, uh, VJ, sorry, VJ from Big Heads Designs. Um, he said he mentioned earlier that his kids showed up at Cartoon when I was there, which was crazy. It like I did not expect to see them at all. They they were there. It's isn't it like sometimes you guys ever have this happen when when you're like in one place and you see someone from a completely different place. It's like that you were never supposed to see at that place. It's like universes kind of like collided, and uh, it felt like that for a second. My brain was like, "Wait, what? What's what's happening right now?" <laughs> and so I got to see him, but I gave him a tour of cartoon. And I was one, I don't know if this video is any good, but I uh, gave him a tour of cartoon because I've never been there before. So might as well show you that tour uh, video uh, so you guys can uh, uh, see it as well. I hope it's okay. I, I recorded it. Uh, you'll see them, uh, the kids. Uh, and uh, 
<laughs> Shout out to Izzy, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, you can go ahead and show the video. Or what? <laughs> Does she know? Does she... I don't know. Wait, your, your message her right now. Tell her to go live.maxmoose.com. <laughs> oh, she's on right now? Oh, you're watching probably with your dad? Maybe. But anyways, the kid showed up, and I gave him a tour of Cartoon, so you guys can get a tour of Cartoon as well. Check out our sponsors, Cartoon. Uh, and uh, here's the shop. All right, we're going to give the kids a tour of Cartoon. Here we go. So uh, Cartoon, uh, they, as you can tell, obviously there's a lot of cars in here, a lot of bays. Um, I met Justin way back in the day when uh, he was working at Pan Auto Sports, and he was just selling parts from behind the counter, and he ended up starting his own shop along with Jeff. Uh, one of the cool things about Cartoon is that Cartoon has, um, not only do they work on regular cars, regular oil changes, all this kind of stuff, uh, all the way to tuner cars. Because a, a lot of shops won't touch tuner cars because they're just, you know, they're a pain in the butt to work on. <laughs> so you've got all, the, uh, all of those you can work, uh, that are being worked on. Um, they do alignments and, um, uh, yeah, they do alignments, which we, you've probably seen my photos on MaxBoost. Uh, my cars are on this alignment a lot of the times. Uh, and then they work on motors. <laughs> they do swaps. This is our newest motor right here. This is our motor. I just picked this up from uh, uh, Orange County. We literally just dropped it off. I think that's why you saw my brother's post or whatever. Uh, so yeah, so they work on motors. Ricky actually builds motors, so he could take the whole thing apart and rebuild it. And he has his own cars. Um, so they do that. This car, like for example, this uh, Mini Cooper right here, was a uh, motor swap because he blew the motor, right? Yeah, on this yeah, one? This blew the motor. Yeah, this one blew the motor, so Ricky put another motor in it. So they fixed that. The other part of the shop that's kind of really cool is they have this. You guys know what this is? Is that a dyno? Oh, what the? What? <laughs> From Dino Grass. How do you know this? <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to step up, man. <laughs> Cur Curls is like. Anyways, I'll... don't you love this girl, dude? This is awesome. All right, so um, yes, this is a dyno. And so they do tunes here. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can do tune cars. You probably brought some of the videos that we've posted on Max Boost. You'll see some really everything in here from front wheel drive, rear wheel drive cars. And then the fun part's in the back. So here's <laughs> a lot of cars, right? This is only some of them. Uh, this is one of what they call the village bicycles. So the village bicycles are cars that if you go to the, if, like, like a lot of people from uh, like cartoon, if you go to the traffic, you get to drive them. So this is one of them. This uh, this particular car has a K-Series in it. Oh, wow. So there's a K-Series swap in here, if you guys want to see that. The one of the Village Bicycles. This one's Ricky's car. Uh, it's another EG um, with a B18 in it that he built. But this is going to be a full-on race car. Um, he just built this. He just he just tuned it up. Uh, he just dynoed it at 200-ish uh, two, uh, so to the wheels. He's trying to get it to about 215, 220 but he built the motor from scratch. He's been building this car for months. Um, and it's got all the suspension already handled, all the, all, all the stuff you don't see is handled. And now he's just doing the little things to get this ready for the track. He wants me to come out to the track day um, and instruct him and, on the track. So this is going out at the end of the month. He's gonna, he's gonna see the first track day. Uh, we also have this one. This is the other, what we call village bicycle as well. This one, everyone drives. It's a CRX, obviously. Um, and uh, this one's supposedly, I haven't actually gotten to drive it, but it's dope. I think it's an 87 or so. Uh, but yeah, so there's a dual overhead cam in here. I'm not going to pull it open, but there's way more power in here than it needs to have. Um, and so this one's a lot of fun and it's got the roll bar in it. So all good to go. Then you've got this one. This one is the black, uh, this is Jeff's car also. Black EG Super Clean. Uh, has a B16 in it, and um, it, uh, I drove this one at the track. This one's very much like uh, the type of car this is. is pretty much a street trackable car. So it's super comfortable to just drive around in, but it also, on the track itself, it's not, um, it's really easy to drive because it's very close to, I wanna say stock. Like, okay. it feels easy to drive. You get into something like that, with a K-Series in it, there's a lot of power, there's a lot of torque steer, there's other buttons you have to press to make it work. It's hilarious. Um, and let's see if there's anything else in here. Oh, here's the other awesome car right here. Actually, this is one of mine. Uh, this is the one we just got from Texas. 
So this is the one that came in. Your dad actually saw this car before we I ever saw it. Really? Yeah, he was in Texas, and I told oh, him, yeah, yeah. go check it out. Yeah, and so he checked it out for us, and then now we have it, and here it is. Um, and that's the motor that we just got is to go into this car because that motor is supposedly bad. So, um... Oh, the wing's at my house, if you want the wing. Oh, you have the spoiler? Yeah. Nice! <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, this is a pretty cool spoiler, but uh, I don't think it works. It's probably not very aer aerodynamic. So, um, yeah, so there's the, uh, oh, here, you guys got to see this one. Are you, wait, are you guys fans of Hondas, Mitsubishi? Like, what, what's your? Yeah, I have an Integra. Oh, you're an Integra boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to convert me to Honda. Oh, you're not Honda? What are you? I like Evos. Like that one? Oh, okay. That's why he was trying to trouble. hide from me the entire yeah, time. She's totally trouble. What about you? Porsche. He likes Porsches. Ooh, our friend just blew one at the track here. Oh yeah, you want to see his bill? <laughs> He's a blue motor last week. Oh, wow. It's just eBay. Just, just, just Google how much those motors cost, and just like, oh my, he just blew it. All right, here's a. So as far as Hondas go, all right, this one, this one is really pretty. So you might recognize it. It looks like ours, the one that you guys did the oil change on. Oh yeah, yeah. But this is like type R'd out like the interior so this is all type r interior type r cluster type r uh it's basically what we would we wish we had on the inside and then of course the exterior is super clean cleaner than ours uh it's obviously not washed right now but yeah it's a it's a ctr clone and it's pretty but yeah it's 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 close to what we got but better it's even painted <clears throat> ctr championship white so this is dope and you got the sticker you know it's official when you put the sticker on it. Yeah, seriously. Right. So there you go. There's a little bit of this. And then let me show you one last thing, I guess. Oh, we should have been. You should have been part of Max Beast Live right now. And then over here. <laughs> and there you go. You're part of the Max Beast Live right now. <laughs> so it happened, man. Uh, and um, yeah, so there you go. So the kids are. Uh, so VJ, VJ is getting the kids. They, they actually. What's really cool is they actually come to the track. Um, uh is with his uh, with the with mom um and they're all gonna drive or at least uh two of them are gonna drive they're gonna bring cars on the next track day right right big heads designs <laughs> vj so izzy you're out there <laughs> you gotta get you out there um oh i maybe i have that video of uh, you talking about your car we should uh we should we should show you that one uh actually we should show that that, that video Everybody probably wonders what oh there you go there you go there i got i got another video sorry one more one more you guys watch this one uh but yeah if you guys you guys have any oh let's do this let's do this let's see if anyone can guess what kind of car izzy drives izzy see now you're famous so izzy what kind of car does izzy drive leave a comment leave a question leave an answer in the comment and if anyone gets it right whoever gets it right first wins this is the <laughs> contest what does izzy drive and you gotta leave it in the comment take a guess take a wild guess you heard what she said she liked so if you're smart you probably realize she doesn't have that car right so there's your hint what does she drive i'd be very curious to see if anybody gets it right and no you don't get to everyone gets at least like let's say two or three three guesses in one line one comment though don't put it all like all over the place so we can tell that you only left three comments take a wild guess at what she drives Okay, I'll give you a few hints. I'll give you a few hints. You can have three three answers in a single line. And this is the contest now. So you guys win a prize if you get this correct, or whoever gets it correct first, you get three answers. Uh, three, yeah, you get to answer three in the same comment. All right. So if you guys already left a comment, try it. Try again. Go back and leave three, three, uh, three cars in the comment, and whoever gets it right wins a prize. What does she drive? And I'm going to start giving you hints as we go along. I want to start seeing if uh, Isaiah, Isaiah is in there. <laughs> no, none of the family are allowed to guess what is he drives. All right. Okay. So nobody gets to. <laughs> this is my brother. No, that's not true. 
What is her car? None of her. No, anyone that knows not allowed is you're you are you're disqualified from um from uh from guessing so i'll give you guys a little bit too alex samoski says <laughs> evil nine <laughs> or evil four what bmw 3 series and a mitsu dsm i'm not going to tell you what it is yet honda civic we got a honda are you a honda girl izzy honda civic acura integra lancer evo we've got a <laughs> <laughs> Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. I don't know how you got it right, bro. That's crazy. No. Base model Lancer? Is it a Civic DX or a pub public transport, Izzy? Public transport. Sucks. Mir Mirage Lancer or Corolla? See? <laughs> the way you can look at this, Izzy, is um is that uh she is that this is how they view you. Whatever they <laughs> whatever. Car they think you drive probably means something. Come on, Izzy. Oh my god, Luis thinks you drive a Yaris. That's a good guess, huh? The no Corolla. Prius. No, yeah. Oh, no Priuses yet? Nobody. Ford, Chevy, Do Dwayne. Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Not close. <laughs> Volkswagen, Beetle, Camry, Jeep. Yeah, they're going to caravan in the next track. So this is dad right here, I think. Uh, he's going to say they can carry on to the next car day. They can have three cars. All right. Ooh, Volks uh, yeah, Volkswagen Camry or a Jeep. Jeep? Hmm. <laughs> he said, yeah, the bus. <laughs> I was like, All right, so I'm going to start giving out hints, right? So since you guys haven't guessed, what, number one, no one's got it right. That's your first hint. Keep going. <laughs> he said... A Corolla? Oh, shoot. Test. What happened? Testing, testing, testing. <clears throat> yeah, so... Antonio says a Subaru WRX. Dude, incorrecto. All right, I'm going to start telling you. No one's guessed it right, right correctly. Nissan Leaf. Brap. <laughs> He says, wait, designs, I know you all got a 240Z, a 260Z. And no, that is not, she does not drive that. No way. Have you ever driven it, Izzy? Have you driven that 260? Will your dad let you? <laughs> oh, shoot. Volkswagen bus. Loon Lee. No. Oh, Izzy says someone's close. There you go, Izzy. <laughs> Yo says Geo Metro. Mini Cooper, Geo Metro. Oh, Dwayne said Tesla. That's an actual answer. <laughs> Alex said <laughs> she don't look like a vape girl. <laughs> She's not a vape girl. Lexus IS, Hyundai Elantra, Nissan Sentra. Come on, my guess. See, Mike S so Daddy S said nope. Mike Bush. Izzy's not a, I'm not allowed. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Are you gonna win your own contest? Geo Storm. Ah, oh, remember those? Kyle said Fiat. They do have a Fiat A bar in the family, but that is not hers. Oh, that'd be dope. All right, so we'll do another hint. Um, it is Asian. It's Asian. Okay. There's a hint right there. It's Asian. I know once I once I tell you the big hint at the end, you're gonna get it. Everyone's gonna get it. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. We got Fiat 500. No, they have one. They have an A bar. That's not hers. I actually drove that on the racetrack. We never showed that video, did we? VJ. Oh my God. VJ's got another video that he put together. That's crazy. Of me instructing VJ on the racetrack at Last Chakwala. That's a whole entire show on its own. <laughs> I don't know if I'm brave enough to show that yet. Hey, 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 hey. Izzy's got a cut. He, Izzy's threw out a uh, hint right there, guys. Six-speed manual, 2012. So Izzy drives stick, guys. And I know based on, based on statistics alone, now, some of you dudes watching this right now that read Max Boost don't even drive stick. And you got a chick right here that drives stick. Is that okay that I called you a chick? 
On the beat. She's family. I'm allowed to. Kia Serreto, my guess. All right. So she dropped the hint. It's a six-speed manual, 2012. It is front-wheel drive. Front-wheel drive. 430 horsepower. <laughs> Minus 230, uh, 250. 200. <laughs> How many horsepower? Ooh, look at these. These are good. These are good. I said front-wheel drive. <laughs> Well, it's not a Kia. If it's front-wheel drive, I said front-wheel drive. Did, did, did I get this wrong? No, it's a front-wheel drive. It's not a six, and she said six-speed. I actually didn't realize it was six-speed. That's, uh... Fred's like, hey, I drive a stick. <laughs> oh, man. Who wants to fess up that they're a dude that doesn't drive stick in this show? I'd love to see someone fess up. Civic Type R, that would be so sick. All right, you guys ready? There's another hint. Another hint come in. You guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. I think there's gonna be two more hints. The last one. I said it's. I said it was Asian. I can drive stick. Save the manual. Save the manuals. Gregory says Tiburon. All right. CRV. <laughs> Kyle, what's up, man? Intech. All right, right. Here we go. This is a big one. This is a big hint, and it has not been guessed yet. All right, you guys ready? It's Korean. What hasn't been guessed yet? There's a lot. There's been a lot of guesses. Hyundai and Kia. What is it? Definitely not an RSX Type 2. What's that? T diabetes? What is this? <laughs> uh... Thank you for correcting that, Mike. <laughs> oh my God, Francis submitted it. That'll be me. I've only had other mix in my family. And before I get my STI, I'm going to learn stick, bro. You better. Luis, good guess. Nope. Front wheel drive. Front wheel drive. Oh. <laughs> we got a winner. We got a winner, but Sean, as usual, you've got to say the whole... Oh, you got to spell it right. <laughs> Dwayne, you got to spell it right. No, Sean, that's not right. <laughs> Dwayne, that's not right. <laughs> They're typing so fast. Go, dude. Oh, hold on, I lost it. Oh, no. <laughs> Still can't spell it right. Hyundai, your marketing department should get on this. Um, Veloster is it six speed? Is it? All right. Looks like Lun Lee. Is that right? Hyundai Veloster. Dang, nobody knew how to spell it. I think Lun Lee's the winner. Yeah, Sean. Sorry, guys. You guys just got you guys got jacked. You and uh, I think Mike, right? <clears throat> just got jacked because you couldn't spell. Or was it? Um, yeah. Mike and you got jagged. Loon Lee just, just rode on your coattails and spelled it right. Hyundai Veloster. Is that correct? Where's Izzy? Where's Izzy? You still in there? <laughs> so, congratulations. <laughs> that was good. That was actually really fun. Yay. So, um, I don't know if you guys heard that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got to play it again. <laughs> so they're having fun dude they're, what a fun family you guys have you guys are dead watching it you, as a family they're watching Max Boost Monday that's awesome so uh, <laughs> Luis I know right that's what I think when I see it it's a Velociraptor Velociraptor yeah Veloster, Velociraptor <laughs> Fred still can't spell <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks ago, we were... <laughs> that's good, dude. Fred, I know you're joking around, man. That's good. I love it. Wish it was a stinger, huh, Yosh? Those things are pretty quick, supposedly. Izzy says, correct. Correct, error. Correct. So that's good. So, um, <laughs> oh my god. All right. So, this is this is good times. Good times. So, um, before we uh tell you what you've won, uh, we wanted to share with you guys something that needs to turn into a meme, okay. You guys need to help me turn this into a meme. Oh, Mama said yes, sir. This is Mom. Mama's in here. 
Everybody's on their cell phones, apparently, with different accounts, which is awesome. And Lun Lee, what did you win? Uh, I didn't tell you you won anything yet. We're going to talk about what you won. And you might not have won a one, wanted to have won it. <laughs> but this is how it works in Masters Monday. If you're smart, you got to remember. Like, if I don't tell you what you win first, you may not want to win it. Isaiah says it only has three doors. And with the, with the, with the sad face on it. Um, that was going to be my next clue right after I said it was Korean. I say if it's three doors, most of you guys will know exactly what that car is. There's not too many three-door cars out there, right? Oh, snap. Everyone needs English rations. That's messed up. She's talking smack to all you guys right now. Uh, doesn't the Veloster currently hold the world record on the Nürburgring? I don't know. Does it? Mike, you know more about this stuff than I do right now. No, the Civic Type R does. Civic Type R still does? <laughs> we got beat by the Renault, right? Yeah. And then the McGang. And then I think the Civic Type R came back and got it again, or did or they didn't? I forget. So you fell asleep, Yannick? Dude, someone just won a Sparco seat. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Alex has a three door, uh, but not Korean. Not Korean, Alex. Mike, no. Yeah, Renault does. See, we know what's up. One of you guys. What this is what I love about our group, man. We got a lot of uh, a lot of info in in this group. So Izzy, uh, so here's the thing. I've got a, uh, I've got something that we need to turn into a, um, uh, what was it? What did you tell me we needed to do? A t-shirt? I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> a t-shirt. No, you said we got to make her, what? Did you say something? Anyways, my brother said we need to make you famous. So um, we're going to, Izzy, we got to turn you into a meme. T-shirt. There you go. This is you. Everybody screenshot that. You got to share that. <laughs> yes, sir. Is he? No, dude, you gotta rewrite that. Is that a... My brother, my brother just put this together. This is not my fault. Okay, so first and foremost, I just want to let everybody know I did not do this. Second, because if I did this, you know what I would have done? I would have rewrote it, and it's I would have said, "Is he that a dino, bro? Is he that a dino?" You gotta get. You gotta send another one, dude. Is he that? A dino? <laughs> Is that like a dino? <laughs> Is that like a dino? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what do you think, Izzy? Where are you at? See, we made you famous on Max Boost Monday. Uh, your, oh, your brothers are going to eat this up. There you go. <laughs> Alan! <laughs> you guys didn't know oh that my. I am the meme king. So if I follow you on Instagram and I see you with some kind of funny face, I will screenshot it and I will put you in a funny meme. You should see my brother's memes, dude. They're crazy. They're crazy. But uh, you're famous, Izzy. I'm gonna post this on Max Boost. Oh, we're gonna we should we should post this on the uh, Max Boost stories. <laughs> uh, Alex says we need to do a, a Izzy T-shirt. You ready? <clears throat> See, Izzy, you don't understand the power of the Max Boost uh, crew. Because if I tell them right now we're going to make an Izzy t-shirt, they will literally buy it right now. I'm not messing around. Watch. Like, if I do a, if I did an Izzy t-shirt right now, <laughs> a Max Boost Izzy t-shirt with this picture on it, how many of you would buy it? I think it would be like 30 bucks shipped. How many of you would buy it right now? And if you would, put thirty dollars in your comment. You'll see. Watch. This is how this is how Max Boost works. They don't mess around, dude. Have you ever been on a T-shirt, Izzy? Well, you are now. You know, official Max Boost episode thirty-eight T-shirt, and you'll see people start dropping money in this. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> You're gonna do it. Max Boost don't mess around. M Michael Bush will buy like three of them. Look at this. Lou Lee said, "Take." Take my money. Right, watch. I'm not even kidding. I will show you, Izzy. This is this is our PayPal right here. And you'll see people are serious. They will they will we will we will make a shirt. And people will put money right now because Max Boost fans do don't mess around and you're gonna have people <laughs> running around in the world with you on their shirt. <laughs> at Calco Enterprises at gmail.com. That's the PayPal. I'm telling you, people, real money's gonna come in, and I'll let you guys know. But who wants a T-shirt of Izzy, Izzy shirt? Who wants an Izzy shirt? Right? 
See, Lou Lee said 60 bucks. He's not messing around. Fred Reed's, uh, Fred Reed's down 30 bucks. <laughs> Alex got his PayPal open right now. $30. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if it's coming in on PayPal. We have a t-shirt machine. Yeah, dude. Let's see. Let's see. We've got we've got t-shirts. We got money coming in. Let's see who who's who actually dropped some cash in here. <clears throat> I'm I'm waiting. Sometimes there's a delay. It takes a while. But it'd be so funny to see people start dropping in some money for uh, uh an Izzy official max boost. Monday. Episode 38 t-shirt. Kako Enterprises at gmail.com. The only time you'll ever be able to get it is right now. And we're not joking around. This is real. This will be a rare shirt. <laughs> Super rare shirt. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Oh, my God. Nizumi says 65 bucks for the sake of memes. See? Izzy. Izzy. <laughs> Dear old dad's going to buy 100 of them. Oh, my God. This is the best. Don't you love this show? This is really happening. So if you're if you're if you're just uh, tuning in right now, um, we just made this design for a meme. It's gonna go on an official Max Boost shirt, and you can get one right now by PayPaling us at uh, CalcoEnterprises at gmail.com. Thirty dollars should get it to you ship pretty much anywhere. Um, and uh, it looks like uh, people are messing around. <laughs> As you said, it better be sold out. Now we're gonna sell more. Uh, Isaiah said a thousand of dollars for all of them, and I'll give them out for free. <laughs> Sold. See how fast this works. I think Izzy thinks we're joking. You guys know that if you guys actually send me money, you're getting a shirt. Oh look! Oh my God, dude! Are you kidding? <laughs> Alex. Alex sent in thirty dollars. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Michael Bush sent in a hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars, Izzy. What else? Look, by the way, her uh, the other thing we're gonna do to Izzy is I called her I call her curls. She's all got this nice hair, all curly. So at the track when she uh, at the track we were calling her curls. I'm gonna um, yeah, that's gonna be her nickname, curls. Thank God, almost ran out of battery power right there. I didn't even notice. Um, see, and then Yannick is in Belgium, and he says I would show the tea in Belgium. This is a, these are guys that race cars in Belgium, like actually really race, and then make you famous, Izzy. See, <laughs> dark meme, a dank meme shirt. <laughs> Brian's gonna get one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Michael threw it a hundred bucks. <laughs> Nizumi said hundred thirty one for me and one for Muse Spot. Look at that. Look at this, Izzy. <laughs> Guys, it's my first day out here. It doesn't matter. You're famous, girl. This is this really ha This is really happening, Mike. Of all people, you should be on this right now. <clears throat> Xma sweater. I will. I will do what I can. Did I get a cut since you since you birthed her? Maybe. Yeah. So this money that we're making right now, uh, if we do make any money on this, is gonna go to Izzy's new car <laughs> or track day. <laughs> so yeah. So the, no, I'm not keeping this money. This money's going to Izzy. Right. So, but we're doing it, Izzy. And I don't know why everything's slowing down. The computer's going slow right now. Uh-oh. Do you hear that? I think my son is home. Oh, you're supposed to go see Ronan, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's here. Sorry, guys. I think there's a delay in the internet right now for whatever reason. So, and the computer is acting up. Antonio Cruz is in. Look at this. <laughs> It'll mess around. <laughs> uh, and Fred says I need I need to make a character named Curls. All right, I have no idea what's going on right now. Let me know if it's uh, lagging or not, guys. I'm gonna try to see if I can get everybody off the internet here. Can you check on uh, Rach if the if she's running? Yeah. Maybe just tell her to turn off the TV or whatever. <laughs> Mike just sent sent money for one. <laughs> so see, there you go, Izzy. You just got hooked up. I don't know. Like I said, it's looking really slow on my side. 
So yeah, it's overheating from all the donations. I'm not kidding. This just gives me that much more extra work to do, but this one was worth it. So we'll see. And then we're going to get, uh, so with your t-shirt and the money that you're sending to get uh, this Izzy shirt, the only time we'll ever do this, uh, we'll, we'll uh, get her hooked up on a track day. We'll do something. And then um, she is going to, uh, we're going to go film that and we're going to show you guys how she does on our track day. We should be there. Yeah, so Alex says it's lagging on your end. I don't know why. Yeah, it's slow on my side. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I don't know what's going on. What is that? Let's see. One second. Ooh, this is, computer is tripping right now. Sorry, everything is lagging. Maybe the maybe the internet. We just broke the internet. I think we just broke the internet. Oof, yeek, is really slow. I don't know why. Games. Let me see what it's doing. Maybe there's a setting here. It's jacking up. One second, guys. Uh, guests can join using the link below. No, no, no. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Izzy. Um, it'd be cool to get you on the show right now if I can. But I don't know if it's working. I don't know what's going on with all of this uh, right now. It's uh, slowing down. It's laggy. It's not happy. And I can't quit anything. There's no other other things open, so don't know what it's doing. Give me a second. Let me see what happens. <sighs> yeah. Too bad, man. The thing's like slowing down now. Are you off the uh, internet? No. Yeah. Interviews offline. What? I don't know what it's doing. Man, sorry guys. I'm gonna keep talking like it works, but I don't think it's working. Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna catch up. So if it doesn't. I'm going to be bummed out because there was so much more fun stuff to talk about. <laughs> uh, technology. No, no, no. Don't do that. So, yeah, if you guys can hear me, if the audio is working, then, yeah, that's uh, this will be hilarious. We're going to get Izzy shirts. This is going to be most random shirt ever. You're going to be famous, Izzy. We're going to post that image as a meme. On a max boost one on a max boost Instagram, you'll see it. Um, if this computer will stop being slow, I would love to uh, try to um, do more. I can't do more right now. It's it's very slow right now. So, anyways, yeah. So that wasn't that was no joke. We're really gonna do it. Bra Apparently, I can resume, and some of you are still in here. <laughs> So, oh man, um, you guys are still in here? <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, just wanted to say what's up. Sorry guys, um, I think this is working right now. And let me see the sound. It's working. <laughs> what's up you're back chilling like we do yeah you guys are just hanging out in the in the chat i threw a uh i threw a fan <laughs> on top of the thing 
<laughs> I think it's gonna work. No idea, but it was overheating. And it just cooled down when I finally shut it down. I don't know what it's trying to do. But, um... <clears throat> Oh, the mods are awake. Behave. <laughs> they just move again. All right. Yes, I'm back. And uh, you guys are hanging out. That's cool that you got. Oh, whoa. All 20 of you guys are back. Did it give a, does it give you guys a notice when I come back? How did, how did that even happen? And for you hardcore, thank you for staying on even when I disappear. Um. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Our admin has crashed. Time to post links to dumbass stuff. <laughs> You guys are dope. I love it, man. She always breaks everything. Wait, I let her change oil in my car. Was she supposed to? Oh my god, I'm look I'm going back. And I'm looking at you guys' comments. <laughs> Did you good? Uh <laughs> I guess throwing money at things that also break the internet. For sure. Dizzy did break the internet. She always breaks things. Well, that's what you said. Yeah. Izzy always breaks things? What does Izzy break? Well, check this out, Izzy. So now this is working. Izzy, if Izzy's still watching, get her get her on here because this is what we need to do. <clears throat> Let me see. All right. So, Izzy. I don't know if you have, uh, if you have the ability to do this. Um, but let me send you a link or where's Izzy at? Is he in there? <laughs> What's up McRib? We just talked about you guys earlier. We showed some video of the motor and all that stuff. I don't know if you guys saw the, the earlier part of the stream before the whole thing broke down. But, um, but yeah, so McRib 47 is SoCal part out right here saying what's up. Uh, what's up, Izzy? All right, Izzy, check this out. <laughs> Hit that link right here. I'm about to uh, leave a comment. Or my brother can send it to you. Let me send this to you, Alan. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Give me a second. I got a link for you, Izzy. Don't worry. It'll be awesome, as usual. As long as the computer uh, catches up, it's still slow, but at least it's smoother. Uh, I'm sending you something, all right? My, bro my brother's gonna send you something. I'm gonna try this. Never tried this before. So, can you send that to her? Alan? Click on that. Uh -oh. Click on that, Izzy. I say, uh oh. <laughs> She's not gonna want to. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's okay, bro. It's uh, recorded, so you'll be able to watch it later. Um, but yeah, so we got Daniel. Um, we didn't we didn't show all the video of you guys doing it. We showed you some of the videos of the problems McRib. that we have. We did have a McRib on your behalf, though, um, and that was good. But uh, but yeah, the, we're gonna have to re probably um, we're probably gonna have to rebuild the motor at least a minimum. Re probably put a new crank in it. It's not in good shape, so. So yeah, so don't worry, dude. Uh, one of our guys was like, we got scammed. I'm like, let's see. Guess the agreement. I've never done this. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready to meet Izzy? You guys ready to meet Izzy? This is the first time I've ever done this. So let's see if this works. Sometimes it doesn't. But here is uh, uh, Curls right on. Uh... <laughs> What's up, Curls? Is it working? It's super choppy. I can't hear you. That's your internet. You, but it's That's just choppy. Mine. Okay. All right. So anyways, thank you for uh thank you for being a sport. And I'm uh, glad you guys laugh. <laughs> and and the shirts are gonna be real. You know that. Uh that yeah, so that's uh you know the shirts are gonna be real. Yeah. yeah. So, I, uh, how do you feel I, about I, that? We're gonna have Max Boost fans walking around with your face on their chest. Um, it's not the best feeling, but I mean, that's all Alan's doing. So. <laughs> it's, all, it's a it's their fault. Uh, it's his fault. But hey, guess what? Uh, they donated money to your track days. How does that feel? 
that's exciting because I've been wanting to go and drive. Yeah. So you haven't yet, right? You haven't got to drive on the track yet. But nope. you've been you've been with us at the racetrack, and you have been in the passenger seat on the racetrack, both with myself, my brother, and I don't know if you've rode with anyone else, but um, my least... my dad, my pops, and then your pops, yeah, so cool. And then um, so now you're gonna get to be in the driver's seat, and look at everybody buying your shirt. See how famous you are. <sighs> oh, wait, it cut off. Say that again. I said, see how famous you are. Everyone's going to buy your shirt. I appreciate everyone and do my track day. <laughs> there you go, dude. See? Yeah, and then like Francis says, that's, what's co that's what cousins are for, right? True. Oh, so everybody hears a wicked echo. Oh, wait. Let me turn on mine. So, every so she has a wicked echo there. So, oh, there you go. Can you guys hear it now? Uh, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. I mean, if she would have said we were funding track days up front, I would have donated more. <laughs> 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 Look at you guys. Um, and also Antonio Cruz car meet t-shirts. There you go. You can wear them at the car meet. People want to wear them at the car meet. And let me see. Um, anything else? I think that's... Yeah. And Oh, Mike is already into uh, a major ladies motorsports supporter. So there you go. And you happen to be a lady, and we're talking about motorsports, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alan said, if that's the case, where's my money? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, anyways, thanks for being a sport. Appreciate you. And thanks Appreciate for changing you. my oil at the racetrack, or at least putting more yeah. oil in. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so what you guys don't see, we do have video of curls putting in some, uh, some uh, changing the, attempting to change the motor oil in the EK while we were at Chakwala. So it's pretty awesome. But uh, see see how impressive it was that you knew what a dyno was? I I didn't know. It was that impressive. <laughs> you didn't know? Uh, well, I don't know. 99.9% .9 of women, if you ever showed them that red thing, would never think it was a dyno. That's for sure. That's cool. And, uh, but anyways, cool. Well, I appreciate you. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for saying hi to us. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And uh, you're going to have fun. So we're going to film you on your first track day, OK? And we're going to share it with everybody. Okay. For and, uh, sure. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. So say bye. Say thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys. All right. See ya. Thanks, Alan, for making that meme of me. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. All right. Later. See ya. So there you go. Hey, look, that function worked. That function worked. Yeah, sweet. Import lady. A future racer red. Now she's current racer red. She's definitely a racer red. OG racer girl. There you go. Thanks for being support. <laughs> She's like, I think she was like half mad, half like didn't know what to do about it. <laughs> Hopefully she's not mad at us. <laughs> Don't be mad, Izzy. That's all love. That's all love. All right. Can't wait to support her track day. Um, and yeah, no, for sure. We'll see how she does on her first track day. Yeah, so uh, we'll uh, we'll figure that all out. But what an eventful uh, Max's Monday, huh? That was a different Honda Veloster. Hyundai Veloster is the answer uh, to that uh, to that question. And then Loon Lee was the winner of the prize. And Loon Lee's like, oh my god, I hate it when it does this, dude. Um, jeez, that's irritating. I, look, dude, why is it? Oh my god. I hate that. That's like private information. Everyone's been whining to go look at what it is. Um, but yeah, so everybody's wondering what the prize is that Loon Lee just won. So Izzy, um, yeah, no, it's not, it's not the shirt. Let's see you, Loon Lee, you have won a date with Izzy. <laughs> All expense paid. <laughs> so Izzy, you ready? Yay. Uh, Yay. Loon Lee just won a date. Awesome, man. Awesome. Congratulations. That's so good. That's... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's...
the recruits every Monday. Uh, Antonio, what's up? Saying, I finally got on my first Max this Monday and love it. Oh, uh, dude. Twitch is like, wow. <laughs> Antonio's like, yay. <laughs> Damn, bro. Winning. <laughs> Where's Izzy? <laughs> Izzy doesn't know it yet, though, dude. I'm sorry, dude. She has no idea what she what you just won. She has a oh, never mind. <laughs> and then my son she's gonna be so happy. <laughs> so Izzy, here's your date. You got Lulu Lee. Don't worry about his don't worry that he has a wife. It's all good. It's all good. At least Izzy's got a Izzy's such a sport. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you really just pimp out Izzy for a date? <laughs> oh, 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 man. Nah. Her dad has guns, so just letting you know. Just just straight up, her, 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 her dad has guns, but I wouldn't fear her. I would fear her mom. Her mom. Latina Fury, dude. Latin Fury. <laughs> Antonio's like, congrats. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Brian's like, it's cool, bro. Build a harem. Horrible. All right, man. That's funny. No, we're just joking around. I don't know. What 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 do you want, Lin Lee? What would you want to win? That you something that your wife would be <laughs> appreciate. Uh, we gotta we gotta have a program or something that will group that help you from prevent that from popping up all the time. I have no idea, man. We got to. Um, uh oh, Angie. Uh oh, mom's in here. Mom's in here. <laughs> We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Oh my god. Anyways, this is uh this is my favorite comment of the day so far. Thank you, Antonio. I got finally got in my first month of money. I love it. See guys? Somebody likes us hanging out on Mondays. That's good. We got a new new Max Boost Monday here. Show up on the next one. Yes, <laughs> Izzy's mom's gonna be dropping the chocolates on Dennis next time. She, <laughs> she sees him. Oh, you gotta meet mom too. Mom, you're next. You're next, mom. Mom's gonna drive too. So what I said about the Civic SI, I told that if we get the Civic SI running, mom gets to drive that. Angie gets to drive it. That day, Angie Checo de Guzman, it was all Max Boost. <laughs> I'll duck so you have a clear shot with the jump class. For sure. Uh, I don't know what happened here. I know there's a meme. Or uh, the, an emoji. Uh-uh. <laughs> You're driving. Every day at the same time, 5.30 on Mondays, except for next week. Next week's the first one. This is episode number 38. And, uh, oh, it's going to be a guess what mom drives next episode. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Izzy. Mom's got a Benz. Uh, she didn't notice. She, she's like, she threw down the answer. We were supposed to do mom, Izzy. Next time we're going to do mom. Anyways, this is how random Max's Mondays are. But uh, the, at least somebody's watching. Right. Do we have any other videos to show you guys? I think that was it. Do I have anything else? For now. Um, let me see. Did I miss anything? I don't know. That's a video I made. All right, man. I think that's good. So everybody, see? Everyone uh, <clears throat> had a good time today. I don't think Loon Lee told me what he wanted. Loon Lee's won a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Izzy's like, my bad. <laughs> yes, 5.30. 5.30. Uh, Antonio, so how'd you find us then if you've never been on Max's Monday? Where did you see the message? When did Max be turned into a dating show? Today. Today. Oh, Alex wants to see some video of us putting out some hot times at the track. No, that's all on the GoPro. The only reason why I could even show you these videos is because they were on my phone. <clears throat> but I will show you guys next time when I can. Uh, definitely got some video. Oh, I didn't talk about the last track day, and I didn't show. I didn't even do a, a Max Boost issue. But that was fun. We need to do all that right now. That was great. Uh, last track day, I'll have more video for you guys to show you guys uh, what's up uh, video-wise. And, um, but, uh, yeah, the track day was kind of interesting. Uh, we, 
I spent a ton of money on the Midori again uh, because after Chuckwalla last week, we had um, some funny sounds coming out of the engine bay. And it wasn't, it sounds like rod knock, it wasn't, it was actually something in the transmission. So over the weekend, cartoon, uh, over the week, cartoon fixed the transmission, uh, three bearings and a clutch and replaced the clutch to all new on Midori. Picking up, we picked up Midori on Friday and uh, go going to the racetrack, the speedometer wasn't working. And basically the basically uh, long story short it was a connection to the uh, uh, variable speed sensor on the transmission so that failed and that wasn't good and then they fixed it and then on the way driving up it didn't work again and so without the VSS the the it's either at zero or it does erratic stuff on the speedometer and the only I don't care about my speed or reading speed on the track it's just the fact that the, if the VSS goes wacky um, the car, the, the car does weird stuff. Like it can cut out, it gets confused. So on the track during the first couple of sessions, um, um, the car was cutting out and, uh, I guess we'll show this. Let me see if I can get online. Um, and, uh, and so you guys saw me posting some of the, we'll, we'll go into, uh, we'll go into the, um, private group here and see what kind of, uh, <laughs> spinning wheel of death. Um, let's see if I have any of the images that were posted. Let's, okay, so let's start here. Uh, I'm going to share this page with you guys. And so, yeah, so what I did was when I got to the, uh, uh to Bunwillow, by the way, it was really foggy. I said, place your bets. Um, how slow will the Midori be on clockwise 13 today at Bunwillow? I predict the four minute lap time, 359, lucky, right? And so you guys did actually put some bets down. Gino said 230, two minute, 30 second. Jaime Garcia, who races, uh, who competes in time attack, said 218. He actually has a Civic uh, FA5. 218, I'm like, bruh, I wish. Um, and between, Dwayne Avery said, between 245 and four minutes, he covers all his bets, right? And uh, I think I said, uh, I guess my better would be better than a 244. And then Chad says at 2.29. Michael Bush says at 2.24. And then later on, uh, George says a three-minute flat. Thanks for the vote of confidence there, George. <laughs> um, and so I invent, in, after this first session, I end up uh, messaging here. Grr, the car is cutting out at the sweeper through the S's, Jaime Garcia. And it's like, VTEC solenoid, good, I, good thought. Maybe not getting oil pressure under G-load. That's one of the things I was thinking. Potentially misfiring, I'm not sure. And then um, what it ended up becoming was the vehicle speed sensor was loose. Like there's a loose, but it wasn't loose. I checked it. We checked it. What was going on? I went through the entire thing. It also cut out at Willow Springs, but it wasn't from the VSS. Originally at Willow Springs like a month ago, it cut out because there was a, a, a kind of loose connection in the ECU. So I went back to the ECU. I got video of all this stuff. I saw some exposed wires, tape those down, check the grounds, like all this stuff. I, for about an hour and a half, two hours, I was under the hood trying to figure it out. And then I went back to the VC, VSS and I started playing with the prongs on the car. And uh, ended up bending them bending them up, uh, in one direction. I don't know why I keep, I was like, ah, oh, funny band. It's the band, one direction. Anyways, uh, bend the prongs in one, in one direction and then went to go try it and the speedometer completely dead. It didn't even do any kind of like weird stuff or anything like that. It was completely dead. So I said, that's actually really good. So maybe the connector for sure. I spent the prongs back the other way. And it ended up being the center prong of the three prongs on the VSS that was not connecting properly. So I, I, I bent them back and I also scrubbed them a little bit, put it in. Speedometer worked. Felt like a hero, but there was uh, that was towards the end of the day already. So I only had another session left to be able to drive it. Um, without it cutting out. <clears throat> so after you guys guessed all that, I think I went ahead and I did, whoa, what just happened here? Um, didn't I do, how do you get to the next post on this now? Uh, they don't let me, okay. And then I think I told you guys, in that first session, even with it cutting out, I ended up doing a, I think it was a two, 221. 
I did it 221 with a car that cuts off in third, <laughs> third, fourth. It just wasn't working. It was cutting off in the sweeper. It even cut off in the middle of turn one, right in the middle of turn. When it cuts off, it's like brakes. It engine brakes, and it almost threw me off the track from doing that. And so it still did a 221. So that beat Dwayne Avery's uh, prediction, which was which it was the first uh, first goal <laughs> was to try to beat Dwayne Avery's prediction. And then the other one was, can I beat a 218 with a car that doesn't hit VTEC? Because then when I finally fixed the speed sensor, it ran and it didn't cut out, but it didn't hit VTEC anymore. So uh, I was wondering if I could hit 218. And the end of the day, da -da -da -da, we got a 215. Short shifting with no VTEC at 5,500. About 5,250 to about 5,500, the car doesn't really pull anymore. So I end up shifting at 5,500. No VTEC in that car. Got a 215, um, and that is not too bad for a car that's uh, kind of limping along. My goal was to beat Jaime Garcia's lowest time, which was 218, and he knows these cars really well. So he said a 218 should, ha should work. 215 is respectable. Not bad. And that was without clean laps. It was a very busy day. Speed Ventures was completely sold out, and um, and uh, there was just traffic everywhere. Uh, there's other stories I've got too, but um, uh, but anyways, that's that's what happened this weekend. Um, let's see. Now I'm looking back, and I go. Let's see. Jamal was asking me if I'll be adding anything to the online store. Uh, dude, just ask for what you want, <clears throat> and I got you. Dwayne asked if we missed any updates. Not really. We're talking about your your bet right now. <laughs> Isaiah's the next guest. <laughs> All right, right on with his Integra. Uh, man, um, <laughs> Twitch is like, we haven't even started the OnlyFans for that premium content. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, get out. <clears throat> Can I postpone the date? What? Till after your divorce? What? what? <laughs> Are you planning something, Lily, that we don't know about, bro? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, um, boost car. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's real. It's a car whisperer. We try, dude. <clears throat> Let's see. There you go. Nizumi the stripes, man. Put some soul into it, and even a broken car will work wonders for you. Yeah, got to put some uh, put some love. Loving it. We don't have a live online store, Adam. We're hiding everything right now. The only reason why is because because um, Jamal won some stuff that we were going to give him from the online store. And he went to the online store that wasn't enough stuff in it. <laughs> he wanted something else, probably. Uh, wilding out? When did I wild out? What do you mean? Okay, yeah, just tell me what you want, Jamal. <laughs> it's funny when you have people ask questions about customer service stuff in our in the middle of our live stream. <laughs> Jump off. Uh, I guess this was for uh, Antonio. Have you read the comic yet? Let's see. Wait, what? You're gonna Bolkovic? You're uh, you 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 know where Xanaport is? Or Japan Japfest? Zanderport next year if it happens. Dang, I'm talking about <laughs> trying to get Lily divorced and married with a week. <laughs> That's Izzy. Izzy, look at the trouble you're causing over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so that was a joke. That was a joke. No. <clears throat> Don't. Bulk of it was at Zanderport like two times already. Nice, dude. John, Sean Jensen, uh, I said it earlier in the campaign, uh, we're supposed to get the books in a few days, uh, in the port, and then he gets to deal with everything that has anything to do with customs, which I hope is quick, quickly. Okay, Antonio Cruz on the parts of the bit in port magazines, no worries. Let's see, a thousand K? Oh my god, wait, a thousand K, a thousand K, a thousand K, that's like 700... 700 miles or something? If that's right. All right. Let's see. 
Answer your question. Which question do you want? To which one do you want answered? Here? <laughs> oh, this one. What about the twenty fourth July eight hour race in Zandvoort? Are we going to plan that thing? <laughs> Mike, are we going to Zandvoort, dude? Are we going to Europe in July? That is the question. Let's see what let's see what Mike thinks. Ah, so Antonio never knew that there was a whole comic book. He just put it all together last month when you saw Max. He's probably on Instagram, right? That's really cool. Anything else, Alan? Lunely, what do you want to win, man? Let me know when you figure it out. And then let me see. Let me see. Everybody that said that they're down to send some money, so thank you. <laughs> you guys are so dope. Taking care of Izzy. See how quick that was, Izzy? Don't mess around. You can tell stories if you want. Um, I'm trying to check PayPal and I can't do it right now. It's not working. Uh, shoot. I don't always have issues with these. Anyways, it doesn't go smooth, man. I just got your text, Chad. You thought Thunder Hill was in Arizona? No, bro. <laughs> Thunder Hill is North, North, North Cal. Oh, so there was something else, right, in July. Uh, there's a July event where uh, Speed, Speed F, uh, you don't know about this, uh, Alan, but there's a July event. I think it's in July, mid-year two. Don't worry. I don't think it's the same weekend. I don't know. But was it July? There's a weekend where Sunday is Laguna Seca. No, no. Sunday is Thunder Hill, and Monday is Laguna Seca. So while you were up there, we could drive up to Thunder Hill Raceway, drive that track, come back on the way down, hit hit up Laguna Seca and walk out one race. And golf Pebble Beach on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did tell you about that, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that'd be cool. So Chad wants to go out to Laguna Seca. That may be a good way to do it. Mike says if he can, he's down. Do you think the world's going to be open by then, in July? I prefer a meet and greet date with my wife. That, that way, nobody coming back in suitcase. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. A meet and greet date. Oh, you mean with me? <laughs> that'll, ruin your, that'll ruin your appetite, bro. <laughs> Where do you live, Lindley? What are you? And then, yeah, Michael, if you're down, we need to plan out something great. That would be great, great. Yeah, I don't know, man. What's it going to take? Can I sell a shirt of a shirt of my face on it? A shirt, a, a shirt with my face on it so I can afford to go to Europe? <laughs> uh, a date and then and Dennis's comments over it. Okay, yeah, you could do a live stream of your date on our show, and then I can comment on your date. Yeah. <laughs> Antonio's first Max Boost Monday, right? Um, Antonio, so this is since since this is your first Max Boost Monday, I guess I have to read a read a comic, because last time, because sometimes I get lazy and we don't do it because we're just having so much fun screwing around. Um, and uh, let's see, let's see where is the last episode of Max Boost? Yeah, I'll go ahead and read one because the last episode of Max Boost. Um, we yeah let's go read one so all right so this is uh this is what happens uh when we have um uh, max boost monday uh I'll, I'll play a background song right now just a little bit is it working yeah all right one second let me see if this is working is it background music i don't know it's working all right anyway all right so this is how it works antonio we show an episode of Max Boost, and that's not it. Um, let's go to here. Boom. All right, this is episode number 35 of Max Boost, and I read it out loud to you, Antonio. Yes, the creator, and just so that you know, a lot of times when I read this, it's the first time I've read it in years or a long time. 
Um, and so sometimes I laugh at my own jokes, right? So Max Muse issue number 35. In the last episode, you saw this. He discovers that his P Green Midori Civic was modified by he doesn't know who. And this is a very uh, famous um, shot. Who hooked up my car? Who cares who? Yeah, who cares who? Seriously. Rolling on some dubs. So, rolling on some dubs. I don't know why that... Uh, hopefully, things are going okay. Uh, it said that the stream stopped for some reason. So, rolling on some dubs. A sick body kit. A fatty tip. And a ham and hammer to the floor. <laughs> okay, I write every issue. And sometimes I go, why did I write that that way? Turbocharged and gauges galore. Feel the wrath of import power. How, how appropriate. It's December. Santa day, Santa time. So, um, I'm going to show up next to my car. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's some shade thrown at all the hard parkers over there. All you car show guys. <laughs> I wonder what he's going, what's going on over there. And all the people are surrounding him right now. The crowd is probably laughing at his piece of crap. That's, that's funny. Stop. Uh, the, oh, that's how the line goes. The crowd is probably laughing at his piece of crap. Stop. Wow. Okay. So what? He's got his arms out like Vin Diesel. That's tight. Blow the in blow the welds off my intake manifold. Santa Tuner coming so soon. Get that VTEC fixed. Shift gear, dude. Right? Oh no, stream is lagging. All right, I don't know if the stream's lagging or not. Sorry, Antonio. I'm trying to do the best I can. No. Anything to talk about this? You can see sometimes we get lazy and the auto cannon banner is not on the Max Blue Civic like it's supposed to be. <laughs> like we run out of time, man. Um, when we do these issues. What else did I see here? Hammered to the floor. Sick body kit. Rolling on some dubs. No, they're not 20s. Why he said that? Did I write that line? I know I, I know I write everything, but I'm like, did I write that line? <clears throat> so yeah, this is uh, Todd figuring out that yeah, he modified his uh, Civic, and so you guys know what's next. They're gonna be racing together. So now, now you got the. Now you got this super confident version of Max getting ready. Logo on the top right. That was uh, that was the logo we used to have on. Uh, that was the brand of T-shirts that we used to do back in 1997, uh, 1997, 98, 99, like early 2000s. So yeah. So this was originally published in probably 2000. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Fred wants an auto cannon banner for his CRV windshield. <laughs> Techademics. Wow. All right. So you guys are lagging. Sorry about that. Maybe we'll have to read this episode again next month. Um, so let's see. All right. Well, this hasn't been the best to do a live stream out of my house. Uh, this is... Um, you used to call yourself Auto Dang, Antonio on uh, Auto Tonio, right on. Ah, uh, yeah, you gotta you know first step of the podium before you get one. That'd be kind of crazy. You can only get an auto cannon banner when you win a race. That'd be that'd be <laughs> very few of them out there. But um, yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, almost two hours again. Hour forty five minutes. We're hanging out. No wait. Five thirty, six thirty, seven. Yeah, almost two hours hanging out. Thank you guys. Sorry about the uh, interruptions. Um, obviously, uh, doing Wi Fi in our house doesn't work perfectly, so I'll have to know that for next time. But I think you guys know if you got if you got on late, you know why I'm in my house doing this live stream, and it's because things didn't work out perfectly today. And um, yeah, it's always a challenge, Yannick. But you've won, man. You said you're championship winning. You, you have the championship winning EG. You already won, brother. Uh, 
Uh, I don't remember who did this one. It was not Jason. Jason's not a penciler. You rarely did ever any penciling. Antonio says Otto's my favorite character. That's what's up. All right, cool, man. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, anything else? Any last minute questions? Did you guys enjoy this episode? My brother hanging out in the background from the room. Some random stuff we did with Izzy. Um, and you guys got to see some background in the cartoon. I did this all like impromptu. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Another Monday. And then again, you guys, uh, we're not going to have a Max Boost Monday next week. So that means we're going to go to Christmas. And um, I think, I don't know when the next Max Boost Monday is. But either way, uh, bottom line is I appreciate you guys. This year has been nuts. It has been nuts. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that has supported Max Boost and supported me. Having you guys out here for 38 weeks straight on Max Boost Mondays. It's been really cool. Thanks for following, uh, showing up and hanging out every Monday. It means a lot to me. Um, this year has been tough. This year has sucked in lots of ways. But yet, with you guys, this has definitely been a blessing. And, and I appreciate you all. And hopefully, uh, over the next week or so, you guys enjoy time with who you can be with. Uh, and, um, yeah, be able to, uh, you know, be with friends, be with family. And just, uh, you know, have a good ending to this year. <laughs> that was really nutty. So, yeah, looking back, I, I, I you guys have been such a highlight of uh, our entire year here at Max Boost. Thank you for everything. And you guys have a happy holidays. You guys have a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, all the things. Uh, and uh, hope you guys have gifts for yourself as well as your friends and your family. And, uh, but you guys are a massive gift to me. So thank you guys for everything. Um, it's not the same without you. And I appreciate you guys um, being here. Uh, and oh, Angie, and a special thank you to, to, to the family uh, over at Big Heads Designs. Angie, Ice, Curls, Beach, all you guys uh, out there. Thank you. And um, yeah, happy holidays. Be safe. From Belgium, happy holidays. Best wishes to everyone. Merry Christmas. Uh, Lun Lee, um, Santa still got a gift for you. And um, let's see, yes. And uh, Merry Christmas, Gregory. Thank you. And uh, yeah, everyone have happy holidays. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. You guys are literally one of the biggest gifts I've received this year. Uh, and I uh, really appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking through it. All the Max Boost. And we got a lot of work to do next year, guys. A lot of work to do with Max Boost. So, anyways. Thank you guys. You'll just be seeing more of us later. Just want to make sure you guys know. Appreciate you. And uh, thank you for uh, hooking up uh, Izzy. <laughs> Izzy with her track day. And you'll be able to see that sometime next year, okay? All right, guys. Um, and Antonio, welcome to being the first time. And uh, have a happy holidays to everyone. See you guys later. Keep boosting. <laughs>